Are you looking for a low fat, low carb holiday dish to take to your family this year for Thanksgiving or Christmas? If so, this is not the recipe for you. If you're looking for something that is rich and decadent, full of carbs and full of butter, this is for you. If you want to see how I make this delicious dish, come back after the intro and I'll show you how. Salutations and welcome back to the farm here in my 1902 farmhouse. We're back in the kitchen today and I want to share with you a special recipe that I make every year for Thanksgiving. But just know it is so delicious you can cook it any time of the year and your family will love it. Okay, as I said, this is a delicious recipe that your family will beg for every year during the holidays. Mind you, I can never make enough. And this is my herb infused creamed potatoes. I'll make sure that all of the ingredients are listed below for our herbed creamed potatoes. You want to start with some baby potatoes. I like to use baby red potatoes, baby Yukon gold potatoes. If you can find them, some baby purple Peruvian potatoes. Now, if you can't find these at your local store, maybe go to like a Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, sometimes they have the more unique potatoes. The reason you want those is because they add color to your dish, and that is so beautiful when the dish is done. If you can't find them, maybe add them to your garden next year, and that way you'll have your own grown potatoes, and you can pick and choose what you want to put in your herb cream potatoes. Now, speaking of growing beautiful things in your own garden, make sure you check out my other video here on the channel where Papa Jim and I had VIP treatment over at Baker Creek Seeds. We learned so much about their operation. We really enjoyed our visit there. When our video reaches 1,000 views, everyone who has commented on the video will be put in a drawing for some seeds from Baker Creek. So make sure you head on over, watch that video, leave me a comment, make sure it's a good one, watch the whole thing, and then make sure you watch for when we have that drawing. I was not able to find any purple Peruvian potatoes. You can use fingerling potatoes, whatever you can find to just add color. And you want the little ones. So what I have here is I was able to find some Yukon gold and some red potatoes, little baby ones, and I've cut them up here in quarters or in six, and I'm gonna add them to my baking dish here. Now you wanna use a glass baking dish. Now that I've said that though, I am gonna share with you, I'm gonna double my recipe today because I'm gonna make some for dinner tonight, and then I'm gonna make some to take Thanksgiving in a couple of days to my family's home. So I have these little disposable containers. I'm gonna be also doing a couple of these. That way I can take them to Thanksgiving dinner and just leave the dish and not worry about it. So you can get these at Dollar Tree, relatively inexpensive. I like to get the ones with the lids. No worries, everything's taken care of, you just grab it go to your family dinner. But meanwhile, I do have my baking dish here and we want to grease it. Now I am gonna have full disclosure here. I didn't take my butter out of the freezer early enough. My hands are clean by the way. But you just wanna just kinda lightly grease this dish with your stick of butter. Don't worry that you're manhandling that butter. You're gonna be cutting it up and using the rest of it in your recipe anyways. But we're just gonna go ahead, slather some of that on the bottom of our baking dish. And I'm gonna add our potatoes to the baking dish. I didn't show cutting them up because nobody wants to stick around for that, but they are cut up here and I'm just gonna go ahead and just toss them right in. I've got my little hot plate here and here I've added a saucepan and I've set my heat to very low. To this, I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream. Now in the recipe that I'm including below that you're gonna to wanna to write into your own cookbook, it says to use two cups, which is one pint of heavy whipping cream. I'm doubling that because I'm making extra. So here I have ooh, my four cups of heavy whipping cream. And I'm just going to try to carefully, without splashing, add this to my saucepan. 
worry, I'll get the rest of that out later. It won't go to waste. Now to your saucepan, you want to have one of these little screen sieves. This one's plastic. I wish I had one that was all metal. It, I had to replace it, and I need to get a better one. But you're just going to drop this right into the cream. You want to take two cloves of garlic. Go ahead and cut the ends off. Remove the papers. Just smash them on your cutting board with the back of your knife and then add them to the herb basket as well. Now, silly me, I have taken all of my garlic that I had, all of the cloves are out in the garden. They've been planted for next year and I don't have any fresh cloves of garlic. I do have some garlic from the fridge that's been uh, it's in oil. And we're gonna go ahead and add about a half of a tablespoon into the basket. Drain that out as best you can and then just plop that right into your basket every last one. Next year, I have to make sure I reserve some of those cloves of garlic for my holiday recipes. Now, one more thing to your little herb concoction that you've got here in your cream are bay leaves. You're gonna to wanna to take two bay leaves, just pop those in there as well. And that's gonna add an additional profile of beautiful herb goodness to your potatoes. We're gonna add fresh herbs to the basket it's going to infuse into the cream. Uh, you can get these packets at your local grocery store. Use fresh if you can, it makes a world of difference. So in my little container here, I have sprigs of thyme, rosemary, and sage, and the entire thing is just gonna go right in to that basket that is sitting in my heavy cream. Friends to Betsy, I just know I'm gonna get a lot of comments about not rinsing off those herbs. They looked fine. I checked them over before I put them in. When you rinse them, sometimes you'll lose some of that content down the drain unless you do have them in a colander. I felt fine putting them in. Your kitchen, your rules. My kitchen, my rules. So let's move on. Now what's gonna happen is as this cream heats up, the herbs are going to release their oils and their flavors and they're going to go into the cream and they're going to infuse all of those delicious flavors into the cream. Now don't rush this step. Don't make your heat too high. You do not want to risk scalding the heavy cream. Heavy cream has gotten so expensive. Don't risk it. Just a nice low setting. Let that cream start warming up. Your house is going to smell amazing with all of these beautiful herbs. So I'm gonna fast forward past the process because you don't wanna just sit here. It's like watching paint dry, but I'm gonna warm my cream up and I'm going to infuse, once it's warm, these beautiful herbs into my cream for about 10 to 15 minutes. Why isn't this warming up? Help if I plugged it in. All right, I've got it set on low. Now we're cooking. And while my herbs are infusing into the cream, I'm gonna go over here to my turkey roaster and I'm gonna set it to 350 degrees to preheat. So if you decide that you'd like to add this recipe to your holiday favorites, make sure you check out my line of cookbooks in my Amazon store. You fill them in, it's like you're building your own cookbook of your favorites. I am really enjoying these. So check those out. Now I did wanna mention, if you don't have one of these sieves, it's okay, you don't need it. But especially, especially if you leave all of your herbs whole, you can just use a pair of tongs to take them out later but you might have little pieces of thyme in your cream, but you know what, that's gonna make your potatoes all the more beautiful. And then you can make fun of Uncle Fred while he's sitting there picking thyme out of his teeth after dinner's done. So it's all up to you. You don't have to have the sieve. I just find that it makes things a little extra handy. I have my potatoes here in the casserole. I've removed the herbs from the cream. And like I said, there might be some uh, little bits of thyme left in the cream. Now don't throw the herbs away. You can use them in some of your other recipes for your holiday or you can put them in the freezer with the rest of your produce trash that you freeze and then use to make your own vegetable broth. Don't throw them away. You have use for them still. They have a lot of life left in them. So I have my strange cream here and I poured it into a measuring cup because remember I'm gonna be making a couple of dishes today. I don't wanna just pour it right out of the pan over my potatoes. I've got a couple of dishes to make. So I'm just gonna add some of the cream now 
over my potatoes. Now, can I do it without spilling? I don't know, let's see. And you don't have to pour it like over, over the potatoes, but you can. The main part of this is you wanna make sure that your cream line on your dish, whatever size dish you're using, is about half to a third covering your potatoes. So that looks good right about there. Um, I can move some of my potatoes around, just make sure that I've got a nice even layer. I've got plenty of cream to make more potatoes for the family for Thanksgiving. Maybe just a little bit more. There we go. All right, let me set this aside. These herbed creamed potatoes would not be complete without that little bit of extra love and let me show you what that is. I have here something that I keep in my refrigerator all year long and they are whole nutmeg and I like to use these in my recipes every once in a while. Now if you don't have whole nutmeg I encourage you to get some. If you don't have any for this recipe today that's okay. You can use ground nutmeg. Sprinkle about a quarter of a teaspoon over your potatoes after you've poured the cream on. However I'm going to use just a little grater here and I'm going to grate some nutmeg right over my potatoes. Let me get another one. Slippery little suckers. See if I can hang on to this one. <laughs> Got a death grip on this one, I'll tell ya. Oh, it smells so good. Beautiful. Now, you wanna sprinkle it with just a little bit of pepper. Couple healthy pinches, no need to measure it out, just a couple healthy pinches of pepper over the top. Now what about salt? We're gonna be adding a couple of components next that have salt in it. So you wanna go very light on the salt, especially if you have family members that have health issues that they need to be careful of salt. One little pinch, just in case, just sprinkle that over the top and we're ready to move on to the next part. Do you remember that stick of butter that we used earlier to grease our pan? Now I've got it cut into pats and I'm just gonna take the pats and lay them across the top of the potatoes and cream. Now I'm not gonna use this entire stick of butter because I am making, again, more dishes to take to family, but I'm gonna say six or seven pats should do the trick. Now that we have our butter on, and again, that has the salt content, so watch your salt. Now we're gonna take a half a cup of Parmesan cheese and sprinkle on the top. Now I know there are two camps when it comes to Parmesan cheese powdered Parmesan cheese and the real grated Parmesan cheese. Some recipes, I absolutely will not use this. I use the real Parmesan cheese, like my artichoke dip. I'll make sure I put the link to that in the description below. Mm, delicious, and I love making it every New Year's Eve. But for this recipe, I like using the powdered, get the good stuff, don't get the cheap, you know, generic stuff, get the good stuff, you know what I'm talking about. And you're just gonna sprinkle this all across the top of your dish. The reason I like to use the powder is because the cream soaks up into it and it makes this lovely beautiful crust on the top of your potatoes. The butter melts into it, the cream soaks up into it, it browns nicely and I tell you what it makes your dish beautiful. So just make sure that that is evenly distributed and this baby is ready to go into your 350 degree preheated oven. And you're gonna let this bake, you don't need to cover it. You're gonna let it bake for about 45 minutes and then test it, pull out a potato, test it for you know fork readiness. It does this fork sink into it nicely, cool it down. And then without any of the family members, look, make sure you get a little sneaky taste test. And then when they're nice and tender, your dish is done. Remove it from the oven and let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes for that cream to thicken up. Oh, it is so delicious. So I'm gonna pop this in my oven and I'll be back when it's done. So while those are in the oven, I was able to put together two more dishes of my creamed herb potatoes in those disposable foil pans that I can now take to family Thanksgivings away here from the farm and then I don't have to worry about getting my dishes back. But for those of you who are clutching your pearls saying, 
don't eat the potatoes, country mama. I know you've been working really hard to lose weight. Don't worry. I got my scale out and I actually made two little ramekins of my own cream dirt potatoes. I measured everything to the gram. I'll be putting together all of the nutritional information for this. Calories, protein, fat, carbs, all your macronutrients. I'll put that in the description box below. So in case you just wanna make yourself a little side treat, let everybody else devour all the potatoes, but you still get a little controlled measure serving as well. That's what I'm gonna do, because I'm dedicated. I am well into my fourth month of my weight loss journey. Are you following me? If you're not, why aren't you? Make sure you subscribe and be my cheerleader as I lose weight and get healthy. All right, I'm gonna go check on the potatoes in the oven. Okay, my potatoes are done. I've taken them out of the oven. Here's the important thing. You wanna let these sit for 10, 15 minutes to let all of that beautiful cream thicken up a little bit, kind of like when you make an Alfredo. You just really want it to thicken into all of its ooey gooey goodness. So we're gonna do that, but let me bring the camera down and show you just how beautiful these are. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. I've filmed some other videos, exciting news here on the farm. Make sure you look for those. Our cream has had the chance to really solidify it a little bit around those beautiful potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dish up a small dish just right here in this little glass dish and then we're gonna see how they turned out. Full of cream and butter and that Parmesan cheese. If I didn't bring this little dish out, I would have really been in trouble scooping up a big old serving because they're that good. So let's see how they taste. They're still pretty hot. As I mentioned earlier, the Parmesan cheese and the butter are gonna make them salty, so don't add too much extra salt. This is so delicious. The butter is dripping off of there. Oh, Lord. Mmm. The potatoes are a perfect consistency. All of those herbs and cream have been soaked up by the potatoes. You see the butter dripping off there? Holy Moses, I'm in trouble. Mm. I'm telling you, make these for Thanksgiving, Christmas. Anytime you have a family get together, you can't go wrong. All right, friends, I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy my potato heavenliness, and I will see you next time here on the channel. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Until I see you here again on the farm, make sure you take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Lord, these are good.